Hey, what? Hey, welcome back to the 11th Hour Gaming Channel. I, I'm AJ Gales. I'm playing, uh, I'm playing Mad Max right now. It's, uh, been a while. It's, it's been a, it's been a good while, so. Come on, come on, get up, run. Get up and run. Or stay and get hit. Go, 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 go. Man, I'm sorry. I, I've tried to get into this thing so much already. Oh, it, it, that was just driving me nuts. Cause like, for some reason, I couldn't get rid of those um, perimeter, perimeter defenses. I can't speak. Um, it, it's, it's, it feels like it's been forever since I've played this game last. Uh. <laughs> Crap. Oh. There you go. Got a little bit of health back. Jeez. I don't know, guys. It's a. Uh, it's been a while since I've, since I've been playing this game. Uh, recently, I've been working on uh, playing some. Uh, you know, kind of clearing my board. You know, I finished up Sunset Overdrive, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Uh, yesterday, I played all the way through uh, Firewatch. Uh, my review is done. I'm just, you know, having. I I always have uh, somebody else proofread it before I put uh, before I put it up, making sure that you know it's my that the words I write make sense to normal people and not my crazy ass. So. Um. So yeah, you can go check that out uh, over on my website that's down in the description below. Uh, you can also uh, get there through uh, Facebook and Twitter, both those also in the description below. Or uh, if you want to tell me something, go, go tell me through any of those, or that comment. Or that comment section, I don't know, that this intro feels really weird. Yeah, if you're wondering what the hell I'm doing, I'm just, uh, I, I don't know, I'm trying to, pl I'm playing around with some of these camps and, you know. Gonna do that. Probably gonna go do some uh, some other stuff. I don't know all what I'm doing in this uh, video, but well, I'm probably just explore the wastes, the wastes of what was Australia. I'm not. I'm not sure if I ever did that, but you know, I, I think uh, a couple videos ago I, I misspoke. Uh, you know, I, I said the uh, the director of uh, Fury Road, you know, the director of the Mad Max movies. Um, originally, I, I thought I heard him say, I, you know, I, I thought I read somewhere, you know, that he's apparently that he was planning on doing uh, like a new trilogy, you know, after uh, Fury Road. Uh, I, I can't remember if I've ever corrected myself. Uh, the answer is no, he is not. He uh, is planning on leaving the franchise. Uh, that makes me sad, you know, because, I mean, I really liked Fury Road. I love the old ones. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I think this... I, I think the franchise still has legs. I love how that thing will take out like multiple, per multiple of. Uh
Or did I take... Oh, cool. I took the other guy down first. Like, I... <laughs> I, uh, I can't remember what I did to that one. Or the guy that came up behind me right before I uh, shift punched the guy in front of me. I don't know what I did to him. Like, I think I, like, I turned around and, not, like, smashed him in the face with my elbow just to, like, get him off me. Ammo. What? Oh yeah, those things are still active, aren't they? Before I forget, I forget, I have some upgrades that I can get. Throw that. Totally forgot about these. I have some new short hair, with beard, and goggles, and bandana. Which is that, and then there's just variants on it. Going back, going back to the one that I like. Short hair, beard, and goggles. Yeah, that's good. Uh, a couple of skills. I'll take wall shiv ex execution night words. See, I hate that it like once you buy one, it kicks you out. See, like that that bugs me. Chain finisher. There we go. Used almost about all my scrap there, but I know I'm breaking the action just to do this because I, I also noticed I had a couple uh, new entries to this thing. Scrotus may be the protector high chief of Gastown, but I run the tracks. Give me the desperate and crazy, and I'll provide the show! There you go. I'm. There's that part, and that part. You can go ahead and pause that and read about that character if you want. Spent over a thousand scrap getting all that. Uh, I think that guy just fell to his death. Go, 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 Get, get, time, time to stop, time to stop. Oh crap. You triumph over crap. Tactical retreat. No! Just go there! Come on, now you gotta take me out basically one on one. I love that one that's basically a lariat. Man, I'm out of shivs, out of shells, no water. There we go. Not a little bit, but might as well use it now.
How many more are there? Still on over another 18? Alright. Got one. See, so, you now these are the moments it feels really Mad Maxy. You know, it's like when you have, like, no. And yes, I used Mad Max as an adjective there. Uh, you know, it's like when you have no. You know, you're, like, almost completely out of ammo. So basically, all you, have, all you can do is punch the crap out of people. There you go. Crap, don't fall. Why are these last enemies? Yay! Picture of kids by a lake. Are, are they even down here? Hello? I'll take this weapon, but... What? How did it hit me? I'm inside! Okay... Why are there still enemies? I thought I killed just about everyone. Oh, wait, I, I don't think I've been on the very top of this building. Maybe that's the answer. I'll just keep going up. Okay, it's that. I'm. S yeah, I think it's that door that I have to go up. Haha, I am smarter than a fifth grader. Yes, I did bring up the Jeff Foxworthy game show. I'm not even sure you could technically call that a game show. Someone here! Company! Good ah. outside! Come here! Smash that thing in my face! He's already here! I got one. Like a skill to like throw him off the ledge of that thing. Did I totally miscount there? I don't think there were. I think there was only eight left, and I just can't do math. There we go. I want to try and get. I want to try and get all the. Uh, what are they called? The archangels. In this playthrough, the like the thing is just for a lot of them, I have to go around and like uh, lower the threat levels in like every freaking area. Did I just hundred percent it? Yep. Okay, that I, I find that annoying. The fact that it has to you know like 
re-pop up and say, hey, you've 100 percented this area. It, you know, it's just like, once is enough. Just hop the fence and drop down. Okay, yeah, I was right. I'm like, I, th I thought you had a jump in this game. I know it wasn't like a lot, but I like knew you had to jump. Uh, that way, and that's not where I'm going. I'm lost. I'm lost inside a... You know, actually, I don't know what you'd call this kind of building. Ah, and there's Chum, sitting on the back of the Opus. Better glug down some water! Yeah, I know. Alright, let's see here. What, what's around here? Right, let's, go, let's go check this out. I think this is the, uh... We completed a mission for Pink Eye a little bit ago. Um, and, uh, something, uh, I think it was something, we're, we're trying to find something that was shown to us in a history relic. I think it's like an old church or something like that. <laughs> My video game senses were tingling. Nah, just kidding. If you uh, if you notice that uh that open little crate there, yeah, I uh I don't know. I like I found that a while ago. I just knew there was food in there. How far away am I? Oh, okay, I'm, not, I'm really not that far. Just gotta take me into the highway. Maybe not the highway, whatever the hell you want to call this. It, it just looks really cool to see all, you know, like all the sand getting kicked up and it looks like you're in a desert. The great tempest of sand raged here in the dark days. Drowned and dried the flesh of men and machine alike. There in shallow graves and the storms still come. Yes, let's be quick about it. Oh, calm down, chum. We'll be fine. I love the, I love the look that they gave Gas Town in this game. It's just you know, with all the smoke rising and all that. You know, I, I, I also think this game was a uh, that Mad Max uh, specifically. You know, being Avalanche Games, 
Um, I, I have a theory that this is where they were testing out like a lot of the smoke effects because the smoke, and, you know, like explosions and all that looked really good in this game. Um, you know, I, I kind of have this running theory that it's a uh, that they kind of use this to test out some of the uh, cosmetic effects that they were going to use in Just Cause because you know, like uh, the smoke effects all look really similar. But you ask me, this game is still way, way better. And I thought Just Cause 3 was garbage. Yeah, okay, let me rephrase that. Not garbage, I just didn't think it was... I don't know. Like, I'm seeing everybody's like, well, if you play it on PC, it's... Like, it's uh, almost like an 8 or something. I'm like, uh, not even close. Crap, buzzards. I'm like, even if that game didn't have all the glitches and bugs that I had on console, I, I still don't think it would have warranted an 8. Instead of a 5, I might have given it a 6. Maybe a 7. But who knows, maybe that's just me being picky. It's just like I disagree with a lot of people on uh, Firewatch. So I just uh, just completed that game. It's uh, I, I I thought Firewatch was an interesting game. You can find my full thoughts in my review on my website down in the description below. Yes, I know I said I plugged it again. Just how it is. Um, I don't know Firewatch is an interesting game. It's a uh, I, I, I I think it's I don't know. Everybody takes away something different. It's got to find an opening that shows the in-between spot. Get back on the road so I can pick up some speed. Oh, oh here it comes! The mighty duster! No idea what you're pointing at. This should be wide good enough view. I'm sorry, uh, oh, I, I do this a lot. I start a thought and don't finish it. Um, but I, I think Firewatch is just one of those games that I think... Everybody responds to it differently, but uh, I definitely suggest if you're interested, go play it. Yes, I understand. If you need chum to come a driving, just send the flare. There, it's buried. There we go. I get like this. I'm getting this like really eerie feeling. as an emergency shelter. Go down there and just making sure I have everything explored up here. Like I do. That is terrifying. Okay, 
you're all swine. You killed all God's people. You will burn. The ocean is receding because of you. God withdraws his waters from you in disgust. <laughs> I don't even know what I just ate. Like, it moved too quickly across the ground, like I couldn't read the caption. I, know, I wasn't sure if it was, like, kill lizard or kill cockroach. But, you know, like, it looked like a lizard, though, so... They're trying to shield themselves. Or shut someone out. Get past this. Oh, Max, it's like you don't know. It worked. Of course, it worked. Oh, come on. Name a time in this game or, you know, this universe where blowing something up doesn't work. If, if you haven't gone and seen uh, Mad Max... No. Work. Okay, that, that was a little terrifying. Uh... Uh, what was I saying? If you haven't gone and seen Mad Max Fury Road, they uh, themselves in here. They never came back out. I would suggest it really, uh... Just like she said. I'm pilots ready for pickup. Better head outside. Hey, uh, really, really good game. Or, not game. Really, really good movie. Um... All this food. Um, we I mean, there, there's a, there's a scene in it where uh, Tom Hardy, who took over for, uh, for uh, Mel Gibson, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm damn sure it's Mel Gibson. Yet at the same time, like I'm having that like weird inkling in the back of my mind, like I'm going insane. Um, but you know, he, he took over, uh, played Max in the, in the uh, previous movie. And, uh... Alright. Explosion attracted attention. I want to get the hell out of here now. <laughs> um... Well, there, I don't know, like, there's a scene, you know, like, it perfectly explained, you know, in, in my mind, it, uh... I'm sorry, I had to scratch my eye. Um... There, there. It's the perfect example that nothing in the Mad Max universe can be solved peacefully. Come on, come on. Uh. Oh. Um. Uh, you know the the scene I'm talking about. It was. I'm trying to think exactly where it was in the movie. I think they. There was, some, there was something going on with the war rig that they were on. I'm sorry, I haven't seen the movie in a... It, I haven't seen it since it was in theaters. And I, I need to go back and watch that movie again. Uh, but no, it was just the scene where Tom Hardy just walks off with a gas can and is... Oh! Cool, it like, cut his throat, too. Uh, it was the scene Tom Hardy goes off... Uh, I, just, I, I don't even remember what the hell he said. I, you know, I'm like, for some reason, I'm sitting here going, like, it was something cool, like, there's somebody I have to kill, but I'm like, yeah, I'm getting that mixed up with another movie. Because Tom Hardy didn't talk a whole hell, a hell of a lot in that movie. Um, probably because they knew people would be pissed off that he wasn't using an Australian accent. Either way, uh, he just walks off with a gas can and a shotgun. 
And, you know, he, everybody's like, what the hell is he doing? And, you know, then you just see a distant explosion. Then you see him, like, walking back. There. Like, that, and, like, that was, it was, oh, it was perfect. And that movie on DVD, I just gotta, I gotta go pop that back in sometime. To recognize the sacred parts of the great spiritual schemes scattered across the hills and valleys. Yeah, she sends her crew out of That was what that was. It was our daily bread. That was what that mission was. Geez, she has more for me to do? Well, let's go see what, let's go see what, uh, what Deep Fryer has to, has to tell us. I, I love the names of these characters. You know, you know, Jeep, Deep Fryer, uh, Pink Eye, and what was, what was Gut Gash, I think it was. universe you know it's, it's so many people you know they're like oh we've seen post-apocalyptic we've seen this you know it's there's too many games you know there's too many games about that and i'm like yeah there, there are a lot personally i like the kind of post-apocalyptic genre and idea uh as long you know as long as we all, always try and have like a different kind of spin to it uh you know it's like and, and that's always kind of how i felt mad max had it has this uh yeah, it has this, like, on one side, it has this, like, really gritty, angry, uh, kind of tone to it. Yet, right, but it'll go from doing that to being absolutely hilarious in the next second because of all these just dumb characters that are in it. Yeah, uh, it, it, it parallels very nice. you know, it, they, it's a, it, yeah, very good, it parallels very nicely. You know, I would never leave her side. I think parallels isn't the right word, but um, they contrast really. Ni they contrast really nicely, and you know it's. Uh, I don't know it, it, the the tone of the movies are. You know, they're, they're, I mean, they're action movies. And, you know, I mean, I'm not going to try and argue that, but uh, I don't know. They have a they have their own kind of comedic flair to it. This is one of those either you know what I'm getting at or you think I'm insane. Well, you might think I'm insane anyways, and that's not a surprise. Crap. I don't know why I can't drive in these tunnels. Yeah, these crazy bastards. I don't have what I need to make to get the water storage. Uh, what I need this. Eh, I'll help him out. Why not? Is really that guy? That, that, that got a little scary. It felt like a again. It, it just like I know this is kind of like a cult, but it's like it's not really scary. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, cool! I, I totally forgot that you walk up and you know track the parts. Actually, though, I, do, I don't, I don't, ah, go to the map. 
I, I don't want you to mark. I don't want to mark. Eh, screw it. I don't care anymore. I have a. I can. There's a project here that I can build. I just can't find where it is. Not up here. Oh, okay. And so I'm like, what project? And it's the dog. And it's the maggot farm. It's the thing for the cleanup crew. It's the scrap crew. There it is. That was in scrap for that. Talk to the friar about Oh whoa. In the midst of this apocalypse, my most trusted acolyte has deviated. Speak straight. My architect. My gracious follower. He orchestrated for the gas to be turned off to steal the pilot light. Under my nose, he took the sacred artifact. And by the flame. He did forsake the true path, and stole away many of my wildfire flock. Deserters. Traitors. Heretics. I need that pilot light back. I will give you whatever I can if you help. Where are they? See, written in our revered script. It calls for all stragglers wishing to save themselves from the damnation of Deep Friar to follow him. Torch them all. Oh, architect, turn off the gas safely. Region, steal the power line. Region, beacon of deep fryer. The script reads on. In the darkest hour, the believers standing upon the sacred sand will behold the true light. Meaning? The darkest hour must be when the sun sleeps in the ground and blackness reigns. By sacred sand, he means the burning mound. I'm sure of it. Which is where? I see you have a map. I can read these symbols. Let me mark it. Night time. Burning mound. Look for a light. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Let's go, chum. I am a lonely pilgrim such as I. These symbols are impossible to decipher. Do you know them? It's called the Burning Man. Do you know it? Oh, I've heard of it. Yes, some worship it. We gotta be there when the sun is down. The hell is it? Oh, it's right near the uh, main objective. How fortuitous! Is that, is, that the, is that the way you use that word? I don't know. You know, guys, if you get any free time this week, uh, this Friday, uh, please come by, check out the channel, uh, because every Friday at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, my weekly show, The Eleventh Hour, goes live. That show is a uh, basic wrap-up of everything gaming that has happened through the week, so please drop on by and check that out. Yeah, I know, I, I sound like I'm trying to sell you something when I, when I plug some of my stuff. I don't know, it feels like my voice is about to go out. <clears throat> I know a lot of people just say, well then just shut the fuck up. And I'm... Nope. Ah.
Shun reload. Oh god, I tried to dodge roll into the car. Come on, chum, finish it up. Oh. I'm like dodging the by headlight, like, just crap. Thank god. Well, stop it! <laughs> I love the sound of the finishing blows in this game. It just gives a nice satisfying crunch. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I just... I don't know, like, I, I I just, like, blacked out there for a second. I don't know. Like, I, I just applied to a, uh, just applied for a job at my, uh, my, uh, I don't know, my college has a paper, like I think most do. I just applied for a job over there. Pretty much just doing what I'm doing with this channel and just talking about video games, but, I'm just like trying to think of like really like right now like what's really bugging me with the with the video game industry, and oddly enough, right now it's uh, is it Koei Tecmo? Is that or is it Capcom? I can't remember who owns uh, the DOA Extreme, the the beach volleyball franchise. Uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, well, the second I I don't know the, the games are crap. I mean they're they're. Like, the second one was, it was not fun to play. It was just obnoxious. I haven't played it in, like, I, I remember, I played it back in high school. But, you know, that's, uh, all those years ago. Uh, <laughs> um, I haven't played those games. I, I haven't played, uh, one of those games in a while. Like, the thing was, like, if you had, I mean, like, yes, I understand your game's not technically about volleyball, but god damn, your mechanics suck in that game. Um. Leave me here, then. I'll spend some time with my am I supposed to look for that's got to be it there we go um but no, what I'm getting at, you know, I'm sorry, you know, I kind of went on a tangent there about the actual games. Um, but no, you know, it's, uh, you know, the third game is uh, currently only going to release uh, over in Japan. Uh, you know. Tassel rules here. Huh? You dare ruffle his feathers. He's the one to see about fighters. But beware, all come here to race. All right, just kind of not, just not say anything anymore, chum. Uh um, but you know what? What bugs me about it? Hold on. Is the uh, you know the fact that they're not bringing it uh, like over to the west? I mean, like I, I get how to put it. You know, I mean, if they would have just said it's not going to be brought out to the west, I get it. That's fine. You know, it's your choice as your developer. You know, maybe it wouldn't didn't sell right or whatever. Uh, but, you know, I, I, apparently they, the reason they aren't bringing it over to the West is because they're afraid of uh, just the backlash that's going to happen, you know, from uh, feminist groups. 
on this. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Really? That's the reason. And this is where I say I have no problem. I'll go on by foot. With uh, how to put it, I have no problem with feminist groups and all that. You know, I mean, I, I'm all for equality of the genders and all that stuff. You know, I, I mean, I, I am, you know, I mean, like, I am all for that. My thing, my thing with this is, is this really? I mean, are, are you're going, you're throwing a fit. Because, yes, I understand, this is a game, it, it yeah, I'm gonna say, it, it objectifies women, you know, it, it's, ooh, it's something, you know, they're there to be looked at. Yeah, I mean, there's, I don't know, I mean, we, we, we really need to act like this is, like, the most dangerous thing that ever, you know, walks the earth, you know, it's... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to have, like, a meaningful conversation. What? I'm trying to have a meaningful conversation while, uh, kill a bunch of dudes. Um, but, you know, it's this idea that, you know, ooh, showing women in skimpy bathing suits and all that, ooh, yeah, holy crap, <laughs> did you see that? You know what I mean? Like, they're like, you know, it's basically, it's being treated like, ooh, this is the worst thing in the world. And I'm like, ooh, guess what? That's... I, I mean, yeah, it, is it... I don't know. It's hard, to, it's hard to necessarily put into words. It's just like, really, get over it. I mean, it's, yes, it's... How to put it? Just because it's in a freaking video game doesn't mean it's going to be in it's going to be that way for the real world you know it's yeah it's a video game about a bunch of chicks and it's you know it's I'm sorry I'm probably offending people by saying chicks uh, but no you know it's just it's this I'm trying to think the best way to describe exactly what I'm trying to say. It, it, I, I think they're treating it like this is going to make kids... I mean, you know, like, first of all, you know, it's like, ooh, a young child plays this game. It, ooh, it, it, you know, and I, which I'm sitting there, okay, what, who, who, what parent is letting, you know, I mean, you know, parents are all, ooh, you know my kids playing this game uh parent why the why the hell are you letting your kid playing this game you know it, it's not going to ruin children and you know i'm sorry you know if a video game isn't going to make you objectify women any less than you probably already do in your in your real life you know i'm sorry I don't know how to put it. I mean, because I'm trying to say that it's not there, but it's there. It's. I'm gonna get some crap in some comments if people actually watch this video. The long and short of it, I'm trying to get at is, it's a video game. It's. I mean, yeah. Is it kind of trashy? Is it? You know. Does it paint women in probably the most, uh, you know, flattering of a light? Probably not.
Heal, 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 heal. There we go. Just keep, just keep drinking. Uh, no, I, I think, I think the best way I can explain what I'm trying to get at is I, I, I think people should be allowed to play. You know, you should be allowed to play a game that, you know, how to put it? If you want to play a game. Play the freaking game. I, I don't care. Yeah, maybe the content's a little risque, but I mean, there, there's... I don't know. I mean, I've even seen gameplay of this new DOA game. I, I'm sorry. There, there, There's so much worse stuff out there in the world that, you know... Basically, what I'm trying to get at there, there's there's tons of worse stuff out there in you know in the world. And, you know, it's I, I don't think that this developer should be afraid to release a game in their market for fear that they're going to get in trouble with a, a group for it. You know, it, it's just it, it's not conducive to the art. It's not. And again, I personally I think get the hell over it. You know, it's I don't know. I mean, you know, everybody wants to flip out. You know, it, it's just like, you know, it's everybody wants to flip out that, ooh, women are being objectified. Guess what? It happens to men, too. It's different. It's in different ways, but nobody can, you know, you can't throw a fit about it. I'm sorry. You know, it's, I have met, I'm serious. I'm not kidding when I say this. You know, a lot of people make this joke, and, you know, I'm not saying because when, when people do it, it's okay for others to do it. It's, I have met black people or African American people I'm so, you know I'm sorry if that if I'm offending by saying black that's not what I'm trying to do I have met I, I you know I've met them and they are some of the most racist people against white guys and I sit here and go it's the same thing and people act like it's not it's the same freaking thing but we can't say anything about it. We're not allowed to. And I'm like, eh, that's crap. You know, it's just like, I don't know. Everybody's like, ooh, you can't relate with a... I can't relate, you know, a lot of feminist, a female activists or whatever. You know, they're like, ooh, how, you know... How can we relate with these games where all these main characters are men? And I'm like, okay, let's look at this. I'm a fat white kid, you know. How am I supposed... How, how am I... Comparing or how am I relating to Nathan Drake? You know, I mean, he he's a you know, I mean, he's you know taller than me, has much better looks, you know, has you know can do all this really cool stuff, you know, has a hot girlfriend. I'm not saying my girlfriend isn't good looking, but you, you you know what I mean. You know, he's got all this stuff going for him, yet you know he could not be more different from me. Yet, uh, uh, apparently, it's bad because he's white. That's that. That's why I relate with him. No, that, that's not how it works. That's you know, it, it's I don't know. It's it, it's a it's a hard thing to go into description about. And if I, if anybody ever wants me to elab fully elaborate on it, you know, uh, hit me up in those comments, and you know, I'll I'll be happy to. Um, if people are gonna be out there calling me racist, I. You know, I'm sorry, I, I didn't explain myself the best, because totally honest, when I say I, I don't care about race, I, I literally mean, I don't, I, I, I honestly don't care, you know, what ethnicity, race, or whatever, you know, you are. If you can do a job better than I can, you should have that job instead of me. That's how it should go down. And same thing with women. I, I honestly don't care. What the? It's like all these bottles are like invisible. That's weird. Um, you know, it, we constantly try and make it into some. I think we try and make it into more of a big deal than it is. Um, you know, it's it's just how it is. And also, playing video games 
that you know either objectify women or are extremely violent don't either make you objectify women, abuse women, or be violent to just anyone. You know that's a that's a false argument that has been cooked up, and it's not true. Um, but again, if you ever want me to go into full detail about this kind of stuff, I I will always be happy to talk about this. You know it's. Uh, you know, it's all this. Long and short of my opinion is, you know, game makers should be able to make whatever the hell they want to make. I, I, it's not my place to tell them what they can and can't do. I'm going to end with this cutscene, guys. I know I've been talking about this for at least 10 minutes. And if you're really pissed off or offended, please tell me. I promise you it was not my intent, uh, you know, to offend you or to uh, make you guys mad sometime. When I get talk, I, I'm very passionate about this. So, you know, when I get talking about it, it just it keeps flowing out. Uh, but the long and short of it, guys, thank you so much for watching. You know, it means a lot to me. Uh, if you want to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I can't say subscribe. Uh, guys, I'm AJ Gales, and this is the 11th Hour Gaming Channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Oh, a wanderer comes. I, Crow Dazzle, bid you welcome to the Circle of Light. To the Circle of... Wait. I see you're not here to race. I can see it in your eyes. I'm looking for a fighter to join the Gastown race. They say you know them all. A shiny crow such as I is easily flattered. I may help you after all. Give me a name. Only but one left. Tenderloin. She used to ramble large. Now she sucks the mask day and night. But Crow thinks a shot at the bigs could make a bad girl right. Where is she? Out back, up in that gas. But tread careful. She still loves her a good murder.